Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Beach Side Broadcast Channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSB. Like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications to receive all the updates from these match recaps and all other content on the channel, including the podcast, which you can listen to on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform. Follow us on social media, side BSB on Twitter, Beach Side Board on Instagram, and of course, um, join us for more match recaps and more content here help us on the way to the first k and we're coming to you of course after the manchester derby the first result the streak is over man united defeat man city 2-0 of the had yes the score that you see in on the screen is what happened man united defeated man city 2-0 away from home continue to be undefeated away from home for the 21st match as well um it's it's another streak going on for man united but they break man city's streak and i think this was a typical United performance, isn't it? This was a sort of the classic on Gunnar Solskjaer, if you want to say, defending really well, breaking on the counter. And I think since the first minute, literally since the first minute, the weak, the biggest weakness for Man City has been apparent. That right-hand side, Joao Cancelo, I think the bad sort of aspects of Joao Cancelo's game have appeared against a side that really knows how to break forward with base in Rashford, Martial and Fernandes in front of him. A penalty conceded in the second minute, quite the clumsy challenge from Gabriel Jesus really. His day wasn't off to a great start in the derby. The penalty conceded, Bruno Fernandes steps in, scores 1-0 for Man United inside two minutes of the game and it's all panic mode for Man City I think after that. Even for the next five or six minutes really, Man United kept possessing the ball kept going at Man City for the early on and then of course they settled to the usual rhythm. It was more, uh, mostly 4-4-2 really for Man United in terms of their defensive shape with McTominay and Fred being man-marking uh, each of De Bruyne and Gundogan, of course, denying them uh, the way to move into the midfield. And and if we experienced anything from last year's Champions League quarterfinal against Lyon for Man City, is that when you neutralise De Bruyne, either by design from Guardiola or by the way the team against them play, you don't have any danger from him. Gabriel Jesus was pretty isolated between Lindelof and Maguire. No balls were getting to him. Mahrez was too wide. Sterling was the same. No run-ins from Gundogan or De Bruyne and I think this was pretty static from Man City for most of the first half. No real danger, a couple of shots from outside the box, Dean Henderson easily dealt with him, he had a great performance I think today as far as you know keeping his um, his cool and keeping his calm under certain situations and of course there was the break forward on the counter whenever possible and Man City felt weirdly stretched um, this in this game. It wasn't the case in the previous 20, 20 games really and you know Man City when they get stretched it, it's not easy to defend for them really yes they've been strong yes they didn't concede a lot yes this is the first time in a while that they can see two goals in one game but overall whenever Man United break on the counter they were really stretched and again mostly for the first half they were pretty static in the second half Man City started strong for the first five minutes and we, when we all we were like okay they're going to be coming back into that game eventually but it wasn't to be really Man City didn't manage a lot of chances they managed a brilliant ball though from Rodri right on um, right in the crossbar of course just before the goal from Man United the second goal from Man United which again shows you how bad Joao Cancelo's game uh, has been in the derby and again the bad aspects appearing Joao Cancelo leaving space behind him and again Joao Cancelo's game is serving Man City and or serves Man City when he finds space when the team against them does not have wingers who can break in pace but in the case of United they do have Daniel James was doing decently as well on the other side but it's all about Rashford and Martial linking up on the right hand side Bruno Fernandes in support being the second striker the number 10 behind Martial helping really forward again with Rashford and James doing their defensive bidding and also breaking forward in attack that kind of exhausts them but also didn't allow Man City the space that they needed which was an important aspect of the game they didn't quite they didn't get a lot of situation where they could break forward they could get inside the defense of Man United it was a great defensive display from United again Fred and McTominay were also incredible as well in their man marking in the first half or in the general play in the midfield in the second half they they mostly swarmed the Man City players whether it's De Bruyne Rodri Gundogan even when Sterling or Maris tried to duck in they were swarmed by the United players brilliant a game from Luke Shaw as well shout out to him and uh, a goal of course and also been running tirelessly down that left hand side he really did a, a solid job in that game a deserved victory for Man United and a deserved loss for Man City also because 
you just cannot escape with being stretched each time it has been coming. It happened against West Ham, they conceded a goal. The warning was against Wolves really for a couple of minutes, but now this is the full-blown conclusion for some sloppy moments for Man City in the first half and some sloppy ones in the second half as well. Man United could have scored a third as well for a couple of occasions in the second half, breaking on the counter as well. Um, and, and I think this was a classic United game, a classic United victory, a deserved one as well. Now they go, I mean, reduce the gap to 11 points. It doesn't affect the league pretty much really because we all know that Man City are going to be winning the league anyway but it's all about the momentum it's all about you know getting the morale boost that they need from a victory like that in the derby of course they now go second and they keep their place in second at 54 points one point ahead of Leicester City that's it for me for this game I was able with HD of the PSP like share comment on this video subscribe to the YouTube channel enable notifications to receive all the updates from these match recaps and all of the content including the podcast you can listen to on Spotify Google Podcasts, or any other platform and follow us on social media side PSP on Twitter pitch site pod on Instagram and until next time I'll be seeing you soon. Soon, goodbye.